way. When you're evaluating cost centers, that means that a manager is accountable for the direct cost or the traceable cost of making a product or providing a service. We're going to take an example which is a blueberry processing plant which is explained in exercise 11. So in exercise 11 here are the facts and the fact says that for a month that this blueberry processing plant spent $50,000 on blueberries, $10,000 for direct labor, $12,000 for variable overhead, and $13,000 for fixed overhead and they processed 50,000 pounds of blueberries. Now, their non-financial performance measures were what was their daily rate of processing and they processed 2,000 pounds a day and they worked 25 days. So if you took 2,000 pounds times 25 days, hopefully you get 50,000 pounds. Their hourly rate of production was on average 250 pounds per hour. So this kind of shows you what did the company do and what did that particular manager of the blueberry processing plant spend to process blueberries. Now at the beginning of the period, we set up a master budget for processing blueberries. And we budgeted $45,000 for blueberry costs, $10,000 for, for labor, $14,000 for variable overhead, $14,000 for fixed overhead. If I wanted to come up with a rate per pound, could I do that for my variable costs? Sure, I could. And so, what was this master budget based on? Well, it was based also on 50,000 pounds, which is lucky because now can we compare our actual with our master budget because they're based upon the same number of pounds produced. So, it would be like comparing blueberries to blueberries instead of oranges to blueberries or something else. Um, the other thing we set up at the beginning, we said we expect this business, this manager and the blueberry processing plant to process 2,000 pounds uh, a day and we expect them to process 240 pounds an hour. Did we exceed expectations on the hourly processing. We did, didn't we? We processed 10 more pounds an hour uh, than was expected. Do we get a gold star? Is that a favorable variance? You bet it is. So that manager did a great job. Now, what I want to show you in this problem is how to set up a flexible budget. And a flexible budget is based upon the actual output. So this flexible budget is going to be based on 50,000 pounds because that's what we actually processed. So the budget, flexible budget prepared at the end of the year based upon the good units produced, 50,000. Now this budget though is based upon the um, amount in our master budget for that amount of output. And good news, the amount of materials, blueberry cost, for that amount was 45,000. The amount, because these are the same, for labor would be 10,000. The amount for variable overhead, since these are the same, would be 14,000. And the amount since uh, fixed is the same, or the output would be 14,000. So as you can see, this flexible budget in this particular case looks exactly like the master budget. Why? Because the master budget was also 50, based on 50,000 pounds. But flexible is always output driven. So now, could I evaluate this manager's performance comparing what they actually spent with the flexible budget? And you can see they spent more, like $5,000 unfavorable for materials. Their variance for labor was zero. Their variance for fixed overhead, did they underspend that? Yes, they did. So they would have a $2,000 
favorable variance for variable overhead, and did they underspend fixed? Yeah, by a thousand. So do they have a favorable fixed overhead variance of a thousand dollars? And the answer is yes. Now, in the next chapter, we're going to take this flexible versus the actual and split these variances even further.